Harvey and I sit in bars and play the jukebox, order a couple of drinks, and soon all the faces of all the other people come running towards mine, and they smile, and they say, we don't know your name, sister, but you're a nice girl. And Harvey and I warm ourselves in these moments. We've entered as strangers and soon we have friends. And they sit with us and talk to us. They tell us all the horrible things they've done and all the wonderful things they'll do. Their hopes, their regrets, their loves, their hates. All very big because no one ever brings anything small into a bar. And then I introduce them to Harvey. And he's more wonderful, more grand than anything they've offered us. And when they leave, they leave impressed. The same people seldom come back, but that's envy. We all have a little bit of envy in us. <laughs> Too bad, isn't it? How did you end up falling in love with Well, that's his name. How did you know that? There's an interesting coincidence behind that, actually. One night, several years ago, I was walking down, you know, Fairfax between 18th and 19th, and I just put Ed Hickey in a taxi. Ed was He'd been mixing his rye with his bourbon, and I just felt he needed some conveying. Anyway, I was walking down the street, and I hear this voice, and it says, Good evening, Miss Dowd. And I turned around, and there was this big six-foot-tall rabbit leaning up against a lamppost. I didn't think anything of it. When you've lived in a town as long as I have, you get used to people knowing your name. So naturally, I went over to talk to him. And he said, he said, Ed Hickey was a bit spiffed this evening. Or am I mistaken? Well, of course, he was not mistaken. I think the world of Ed and all, but he was, in fact, spiffed. <laughs> So we continued to talk like that. And then I said to him, I said, well, you have the advantage over me. You know my name and I don't know yours. And he said, well, what name do you like? And I said, I didn't have to think about it. Harvey's always been my favorite name. So I said to him, I said, Harvey. And he said, well, this is the interesting part about it, he said, what a coincidence. My name just happens to be Harvey. <laughs>